Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Every antenna is a compromise. No matter what the OM say, every single antenna has something wrong with it and something right with it. Today we have a tail of two antennas. One of these is stainless steel and one of these is entirely carbon fiber. The radiating element itself is made of carbon fiber. They're both really, really close to 17 foot in total length within an inch or two. Close enough to get the job done. And I proved in a previous video that this thing here is a banger. I was able to get tons of contacts on FT8 using this thing. Fantastic coverage map using PSK Reporter. What I wanna know is where exactly is it resonant versus the stainless steel whip from Chameleon. I'll show you my antenna setup. It is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. However, it will be the exact same setup with the exception of changing out the two different whips. So what we're gonna find out is what is this actually resonant on and what is this actually resonant on? And then maybe together down in the comments, we can figure out, I don't know, where to go from here, what the, what the next bit of magic is, what we have learned, what we can learn together. You guys are awesome. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. I don't think you can get more compromised than trying to put an antenna up in an RV park. This is my current solution. There are no ground radials in this solution. And I will leave a video about this solution in the description down below for you. The reason why there's no ground radials, I ain't got any room for ground radials. I got the street right behind me. I got my neighbor to the left. I got my own truck to the right. It is what it is. Done. To start off with, I'm gonna need my Nano VNA. This is the H4 model in its 3D printed case. And then I'm gonna need some adapters. And I'm gonna do the calibration, but I'm gonna do the calibration off camera because you guys have already seen that. What I did was I did the calibration from 12 megahertz to 15 megahertz, and we've got 101 points. Our lowest SWR is at 14.76 megahertz at 1.7 to one. That is actually really interesting. I figured it would be longer. It's actually too short for the 20 meter band. Wow. This here is your Smith chart for the carbon fiber antenna. And you can tell at the lower portion of the bands and then as it winds its way up to the higher portion of the band, where are we? 15 megahertz. And that is 12 megahertz down there at the bottom. And at 13.350 is where it crosses the equator. All right, time to take off the carbon fiber. And it's time to put on the stainless steel. All right, we are back inside at the test bench. Let's find our lowest point, 14.610 megahertz. And we are looking at 1.79. Oh, there's 1.8. I guess we got a breeze going on out there. And here is your stainless steel whip. Let's find the equator on that. 13.620. And there's your 15 at the top and your 12 at the bottom. They were a lot closer than I thought they would be. What do you guys think? Would like to hear from you down in the comments below what your thoughts are between the carbon fiber and the stainless steel here. In the previous video, I showed you the tune-up charts. I showed you the length. I showed you the weights. I showed you a whole bunch of different things with these antennas and made a bunch of contacts with them. So I know they both work. I've been using the 17 foot stainless steel whip for, for years at this point. It's my go-to antenna because it's quick and easy to deploy and packs up pretty good. These guys here both collapse to about the same length, maybe a couple of inches different, the carbon fiber one being actually longer, but the carbon fiber one is lighter. This one has the benefit of being able to be tuned by shrinking the whip. This one you can't do that with. I'll leave some links down in the description below if you want some more information on the Nano VNA or that awesome case that it comes in or either of these two antennas here but i definitely want to hear from you guys what you think because you guys are awesome and if you don't think anything at all of this at least you can click the subscribe button on your way past to look at what everybody else thinks about it and if none of that excites you then there's a video right here i think you'll enjoy next thanks for being awesome i'll see you over there